Hello and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. Today I'm trying something completely new. It's all a big experiment. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to have a go at um, creating a silhouette and then painting with some resin. Now I've never done this before, so I don't know what it's going to turn out like. And what I plan to do is a silhouette of a face and um, then resin for hair and then go over it all with a clear coat of resin. It's going to turn out either really nice or it's going to turn out like a load of rubbish. But um, you don't know until you try. So this is me going to have a go. First of all, I have this is a piece of MDF. Um, I'm not sure what size it is. It is 16 and a half inches. Oh, I'm sorry, head butted the um, camera. As you know, I am the clumsiest person that will say so. So 16 and a half inches by just over 11 and a half inches. Or for um, our European and English folks, it's 29 and a half centimeters by 42 centimeters. So it's not a bad sized piece of wood, a piece of MDF. It's quite thin look. And uh, I've resined on it before, I know it works. What I've done is I've covered it in um, acrylic black paint and then I've given it three coats of a uh, sealer as well so the acrylic black paint doesn't bleed through or anything else like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is with a Posca pen. Oh, look what I've got today. I got Copic pens. I didn't, but I can't believe how expensive they were. Forty-five pounds for these, but I really wanted them, so I got them. So I'm going to be using them later. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to use a Posca pen just to outline just the face. Hopefully this will work. So here we go. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's drawing on there, lovely. Let's have a look. Yeah. Need to draw in this up. I want to give her a massive chin. That's up. Okay, and we will have an eyelash coming there. So there's the silhouette of the girl. Um, and I'm going to have hair coming round here and coming round there. And then I probably will. Let that dry and then put a bit of a background on there. So the colours I've decided to use for this are copper, acrylic, uh, they're all acrylic paints, cadmium red and yellow. And of course, I'm going to put some bronze, some red and some gold uh, mica in them. So I'm going to put the gold in the bronze, the uh, red in the red and uh, no, I lie. So I'm going to put the gold in the yellow, the bronze in the copper, and the red in the cadmium red, just to see how it goes out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up my um, resin, and then I'm going to put a bit of acrylic paint in them, get the colours ready, and then get on with it. I saw in one of the groups someone asking how to mix up acrylic paint with uh, resin. So I'm just gonna give you a quick go. Now I've only mixed up 100 ml of resin because I don't think I'm gonna need a lot of resin. So I'm not gonna need a lot of paint in these. So if you have a look, this is how much paint I'm gonna put in. So literally, there we go. That's the amount of paint I'm gonna put in. Now if I wanna add more, I can add more. If it, when I mixed it up, it doesn't come out right. And I'm also going to put in um, some of the gold um, mica. So I'm going to put that in the bottom. Normally I'd put that, and I'm going to put that, that much in there. Now normally I would put that in the bottom, that ink. So just to show you, so I've mixed up my resin. So I'm just going to put a bit of resin in there. So I don't think it's going to need a great deal of resin the way I'm hoping it's going to work. So there we go, let's get a little stick, can you see, there, so I'm just going to mix that in, and that should go a nice yellowy gold 
colour, which is actually going to be quite different, even though I've done a bronze, it's going to be quite different from that bronze. And as you can see, it's taken on that colour really well. Look. And that's really enough. And as you can see, it's it's working really well. It's quite a lovely colour. So that's how easy it is just to mix um, acrylic paints with epoxy resin. Okay, so I've got all my um, colours mixed up now. And uh, I'm going to have a go. don't know if this can work. not even done a trial piece on this. I'm going to have a go and see if I can use a paintbrush. It's an old paintbrush, so I'm not bothered if it gets ruined to paint on this resin and then um, see what it comes out like. Um, I will probably speed this bit of the video up so I'll have to do a voiceover to it because if I speed it up with my voice in I do sound like Mickey Mouse has been taking speed so um, I apologise so yeah, I will speed it up and then do a little bit of a voiceover. This is where I'm deciding which way the hair should move and flow. And perhaps I should have given this a little bit more thought and drew in a very fine line of pencil of where I want the hair to be and where I don't want it to be. Because actually, I think uh, I do mention this again later on, but I think I would have liked it if I'd have had a little bit more uh, negative black space up in that right hand corner. So I'm putting the hair down and I'm using the brush to allow uh, me to get some texture. I just wish I'd been a bit more careful about where I put the uh, hair rather than just cover the whole of the right hand side of this board. I wish I'd left a bit of the uh, black showing through. But this was an experiment and actually I've started to like it. Uh, I post it on a lot of forums and groups and I've had some very positive comments about it and they wanted to see uh, the technique as well. So this is how I did the technique. So once I've got the first layer down as, uh, of, as one colour, what my intention is then is to go through and kind of give it some low lights or highlights with the different colours. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm pushing through um, some of the bronze colour into it. Now, I appreciate that this is not um, really giving it great coverage. So what I am doing is, this is kind of like the first layer of um, the resin. So I'm allowing it here to um, go on and uh, move with what resin does and kind of self level and layer in here. But as the resin starts to thicken up, uh, the more you're using it and the long uh, over the period of time, then you actually can start to get a little bit more texture in it, which is what you'll see me do in a little while. So the colours here are working quite well, I think, together, but again, the texture's not there. So what I will be doing is I will be using... Um, various different thing, ways to try and give it texture. As you can see now, I'm going through this resin. Now, it's a very thin layer of resin. So actually, it is starting to uh, cure. And it was a very hot day in my studio when I did this. So I'm using the brush now to try and put in um, different um, strokes as well. And there was something there dropped on my resin, but uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Now, I, I sound very serious in this video, but um, I think it's because I'm still unsure about whether I like this or not. So please let me know what you think. I mean, not necessarily about the picture, but about the technique and how I can improve it. So uh, please leave comments in the uh, comment bar uh, below this video. Now, I will put all, everything that I've used in the description below this video as well uh, and a little bit of a write up. But uh, please leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if, if, if you like it. Not necessarily the picture, but you like the technique. Now, I think where I'm going in with this gold now, it is actually giving it the highlights that I'm looking for.
So I'm nearly coming to the end of how I want this first layer to look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to um, completely cure, then perhaps um, put some mica on the face area. And then when it's completely cured, I'm going to then go over it and do it again. So it has a bit of depth and almost uh, like layering and give it more volume. So once it's cured, I will then mix up these colours again and, and go over it and do the same thing. Um, and that's what I will show uh, at the end. I'll also add some glitter somewhere because I absolutely uh, love glitter in pictures like this. So I'm using now uh, a lolly stick to kind of fill and dig, a, dig in some deeper grooves into this to try and give some movements, try and give some uh, feeling of separation of the hair as well. Um, now these did fill in quite quickly um, so what I did do is I waited probably about another 15 minutes after the filming had finished um, went back over it and did the same thing again um, and then they stayed in there a lot better uh, which really helped when I gave it the second um, coating of the resin as well it really did work a lot better for that This is how it turned out in the end after having um, the extra uh, coats of resin over the top and I also used mica powder on the face using a brush, almost applying it I suppose like you would eyeshadow because I wanted to give it that um, feel of being part of the actual hair rather than part of the background. I did add some glitter, I'm not sure if it picks up in the black. Um, area which I also went over with a little bit of mica. Now I didn't go over it in the end with a final top coat of resin because I didn't think it needed it. I thought it was okay as it is. And as you can see, the texture of the hair has come out quite well with all the different highlights and lowlights. So for all those people that have asked me to post how I did this, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed this process. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Um, I do enjoy reading the comments and I will get back to everybody who comments as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video of me trying out a new technique and painting with resin using a brush. I hope you liked it. Bye.